Hello everyone and welcome to episode 24 of our Stalker Gamma Invictus run. Last episode we started the Sin mission line in Limansk and we basically got through all of it, well the Limansk part. We had a few close calls, we had a Psy storm happen right in the middle of the villa here, we had to go back to Rostock and get a bit more ammo and uh, now we are finally ready to advance to hospital. I'm gonna check my guns real quick. Alright, everything looks to be in order. Armor is repaired. So we are ready to go. We have meds, we're fed. I'm gonna have a little drink. I'm not even gonna check that stash. That's how much we don't need loot right now. Right, so I'll... Um, actually switch to standard ammo just because I don't think we will need AP in the hospital. Right, and let's go. Okay, here we are. I'm just gonna ask my guys to wait here. Simply because we have Rogue with us, and if Rogue dies, that's it for the game. So let's try and keep them safe as much as possible. I have no idea what these guys are fighting here, actually. Sorry, I'm, I'm not commentating a lot. It's because I'm a bit uh, focused on what's happening over here. Oh, that wasn't a good throw. That one was, though. I think they're below. But I should do a little bit of healing because my leg's completely damaged. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's also a heavy machine gun below there, so that's gonna be fun to take out. Where the hell? Oh, there he is. Pretty annoying, I can't tell who's where. That should be it for that guy. Right, I can hear uh, footsteps below, so let's see. Ah, uh, he's gonna be down here. Come on, where are you? I know you're here.
sometimes they just don't want to come close to you, so you end up running in circles after them here. A little bit annoying. Uh, let's uh, deal with this in a funnier way. And that's what happens when you exaggerate <laughs> and move through a door. Remember kids, don't move through doors. Okay, I think we're actually safe to loot a little bit. heard something but we're good okay I'm not gonna go below right now I don't think there's uh, any reason to bother with it just continue moving here um, oh dead to getting shot in the nuts that's that's a bad way to go Okay, what's the next objective? Uh, we gotta talk to the mysterious stalker. Okay. I'm not sure if he still, still has friendlies around. I do hear some footsteps below, so let's go check that. One monolith. Okay, this is probably not the most tactically sound decision I've ever made, made but I will go below to here. Um, don't remember where the passage to the next area is. It's it's above. Yeah. I think there's supposed to be a hole in the wall somewhere over on that side, so... Uh, let's just... Uh, can we jump across here? We should be able to. There we go. Oops. Wrong key. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know the hospital that well, just because I don't... I, I only come here once per game. <laughs> it's exactly for this mission. Oh yeah, I'm calling my guys just in case. I'd rather have them a bit closer right here. Um, so yeah, I, I only come to this place once per game for this mission. And then I never come here again. Like, for, for no reason. It's just... I, I dislike this area more than Red Forest. Oh, you know what? While our uh, guys are coming, let's just uh, continue on. Uh, I don't think we can climb up there.
Okay, you can stay there. I'll leave them open to combat. So, there shouldn't be any more enemies, if I remember correctly, here. There should be maybe a couple of monolith guys, but they're kind of the bodyguards of the Sin dude we're, we gotta talk to. Oh yeah, there he is. And here's Chernobog. He's basically the leader of Sin. <coughs> As you can see, he's in a, in a weird trance right now. So, um... We're gonna have a little talk with him. And he's he's gonna do a little bit of um uh mind control on us and our party. Um and uh I don't think we need that guy, right? I'm pretty sure he's he's just there to, to offer us some gear and some ammo, right? I mean dirty monolith. The thing is, he's he's not um, he's not uh, advancing. He's not moving on with his uh, leader guy or whatever. So uh, um, guys, would you please join me down here, or do I have to climb after you? Oh, there we go. Right, uh, we've got to talk to Rogue, tell him what happened. Uh, he, if we had everyone with us, he would have gotten a little bit mind control too, almost killing us, but uh, he didn't, so... Um, right. Okay. And our next mission... Uh, is to get to generators through the power plant courtyard which is right through here we can just Wait advance this is a really annoying spot because uh, sometimes you do get monolith waiting for you right at the uh, entrance here so um, I always forget where this uh, puts us out Mm. Right. Oh yeah, that's where the uh, scientist guy is usually, right on top of this uh, bridge here. So that means... Okay, someone's fighting over there, so let's get our guys to safety first. I'm just gonna do a quick check off on of the top of the buildings because uh monolith do like to take those spots and uh snipe at you from afar and there's gonna be a, be a few right there near the helicopters so we're gonna right run behind this building here oh already saw a monolith there i told my guys to ignore combat and they're gonna wait right here behind the buildings it's probably the safest safest spot for them to be right now. Come on. Perfect. Oh. Huh. 
магазин! О, oh, come on. Hello. Right, I guess that was the patrol, one of the patrols we were supposed to kill. I do want to kill that uh, pseudo giant. I'm really bad at aiming, the, aiming these. Finally! If you heard something in the background, I'm really sorry, that was my phone. Uh, I will set it to silent in one minute. Alright, where's the next patrol? Over there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to take the path through the middle, I think. Tell our guys to follow. We should have enough bullets right now to last us through the rest of the game, including the UNISG uh, storyline. Did I spot someone over there? Ah, no, it's just a weird pipe. Okay. Oh! Yeah. Uh, guys, follow me behind this building. Please. We can't get on top of it, can we? We did, we did see a Sin guy up there, but uh, I don't think we can get out on top of it. At least not from this side, so... Right, I'm gonna keep, keep our guys here. And, uh, yeah, that building right there is gonna be chock full of uh, monolith and sin. Oh, and here's our way up. Uh, also, we should do um, a little bit of morphine before we engage. We have a lot of it, so There's, there's no use uh, running around unprotected. Can eat some lurker chops. And let's see what we can see on the building across from us. Apparently nothing. Well, that's interesting. Usually it's full of, uh, of guys, but they might be in the place where the altar is. So, let's just go back down. Oh, it's so weird walking face forward into those stairs. So there's a stair right here on the corner, and we're gonna use that to climb up. Come on. I I haven't yet died the stairs here uh, in the Chernobyl courtyard, but ah, there it is. Yep. Oh, now they know I'm here. I can't hear any of them. 
They could be on the building down here. There's a lot of buildings right near this altar. Try to keep away from the center because it's uh, irradiated as hell. And we can take the remaining guys from a distance. There's probably another one down here. Yeah, there's the radiation. Even with the exosuit, it's just so crazy radiated that... Um, that it, it gets through. Right, so I'm gonna run back down and hope he doesn't climb up. Uh, there was a grenade there, but uh, whatever. Uh, it looks like he's right below us, but... Yeah, I, I don't want to risk it. I'm gonna just... I'll, I'll just wait for him right here. Oh, there he is. Oh, it looked like he had a big gun there. Right. So, again... Oh, these, these ladders are so scary. Oh! He had the PKP. Of course he did. Why wouldn't he? Okay, had to stop there for a second, had to open the door. Gotta fix our armor after this. Okay, where's the last one? Oh! Okay, that's a... Mm. Got a long travel time on those bullets. Okay, so I'm gonna guess our guy is up there. I mean, I don't even have to guess. He's definitely up there. Uh, oh, <laughs> I saw the crow and I... I... Right. Uh, let's call our guys once again. Oh, huh. it died to a signal magnum shot. Nice. That doesn't happen often, actually. Dogs are... Well, not just dogs. Mutants are usually pretty resistant to sniper rifle fire. Oh boy, I'm, I'm so scared of what happens next. Uh, not the part here. Like, Ch Chernobyl Courtyard is actually pretty chill. Yeah, you do get some pseudo giants, you get some chimeras, monolith here and there, but um, you have enough space to move and uh, you have a lot of places to take cover. Generators, though. Oh boy. Okay, gotta wait for our guys. Yeah, yeah, come on. I cleared the way for all of you. And uh, speaking of which, let's fix our armor. Just keep it in tip it up shape. Good enough. Right, so. 
Last pack of sinners around here. And uh, these guys are all, all always weird to, to spot. Oh, never mind. Um, just gotta travel to, gen to the generators. I thought there's another pack, but apparently we escaped that. Okay. Okay, here we are. Generators. And, uh... <clears throat> we're gonna have to met wi meet with uh, whoever that is. And I think I just heard the pseudo-giant. I'm not sure who's fighting it. Oh, I don't think it will. Oh, there's another one. Also heard the bloodsucker. Okay, we are out of grenades. <clears throat> okay. Pseudo giants are down. Oh. oh I heard you. Okay, I would still like to do a little, um... A little scouting up here. Just in case there's any more... Weird mutants between here and, um... Between here and the Sin base. Let's see... Does look mostly clear. I hope. The thing is, the moment we accept the quest, um, we will actually have a timer start running down, and we're gonna have to take out the sin in that timer. Okay, here's Stitch, who fought off a couple of controllers. And zombies. <clears throat> All right, I did a little save game there. Oh, right, and let's talk to Stitch. Right, so we have 17 minutes. Oh god, I hate this so much. So, at this point, I'm just gonna let everyone fight it out. Because I, I can't afford to attack here by myself. I hope uh, Stitch or Rogue that don't die. And uh, if they do, guess, guess we'll have to reload in order to finish. I should have kept a few of my grenade um, ready for this. Right, so I'm gonna try and draw them out here because we have a little bit of cover.
I just love that I can't hit this guy. Oh! Right! Gotta move back. There's also a lot of anomalies here, so... Just pull back, and I'll try to support my guys, um, with sniper fire. Stitch is pushing on his own, we're gonna have to go with him. The problem is, this, um, whole area is also mined, and I, um... I always forget where the mines are. Oh! Okay, let's... Holy f Ah, oh, they're so hard to spot from here. Okay, let's try and go this way to the right. I'm gonna have to basically double check all my firing arcs just because uh Oh crap. Okay, that was one monolith. And I think if I go back through here I should be able to uh avoid the minefield, right? I'm pretty sure this should be safe. Oh, uh, there's a guy in that tower there, but I can't see him.
Okay, so we're back out. I think that wasn't actually an emission. I think it was just kind of a fake emission with the sounds, just like we, we have in the Brain Scorcher. But uh, running into uh, the Monolith War Lab and back out kind of reset it so we don't have to uh, shout into the microphone anymore. Um, right, so uh, Chernobog actually did some mind tricks on us. And he disappeared once again. And he's going to be heading to the actual Monolith Control Center um, to, I think, restart the sea consciousness or whatever. Who cares? So we're going to have to follow him and uh, also murder him. Let's see. Do we have everyone here? Stitch is here. Uh, Rogue is here. Pips here, uh, Fyodor is here, and uh, we did have another... I think that's our guy, right? No, this one. Yeah. Sidorov. Alright. So we actually have everyone uh, alive and well. Uh, I'm gonna do a medkit and also heal it up. Perfect. Right, I just hope I don't step into any mines. I'm gonna take the pseudo dog uh, chops just because uh, there might be some weird things in the in the power plant. Uh, the first time you go in there, it's just monolith. But uh, if you enter all these big installations a second time, um, usually pretty big mutants spawn there. So uh, if it's controllers, I'd rather uh, be covered with some type protection. Okay. Should be more or less smooth sailing all the way to um, the entrance here. There's going to be a lot of sin in this courtyard here. But um, until we get there, I don't think there should be any problems. I'm actually kind of amazed at how well the raid in generators uh, worked out. It's probably the best run I've had in there. Um... And honestly, that was the part I was most scared of. Now, we we are not out of the woods yet. Um, I've had times in other, not Invictus runs, but just normal game runs in which I died right here in front of the, the control room entrance. Uh, I've had other times where... Uh, a couple of unisig with gausses spawned in and just uh, x-rayed me f from the other side of the map. So uh, we still have to be a little bit careful. But I think the hardest part of the game is done. So I'm very hopeful. We haven't died once yet. That's That's crazy. I mean, honestly, once you get to the mid-game, mid to, to late game, you're kind of set. Because early game's the biggest risk, and we did have some really, really close calls in there. Um. Oh! Hi! Have you considered uh, death? There's one more. Where'd you go, buddy? Okay, there's a controller running around somewhere. Somewhere close. Oh, yeah. Oh! They evolved. 
they now float. Right, I actually don't need the food. Okay, so well, we're set. I'm gonna set my guys to ignore combat. Ooh, big chonker here. Like, look at that unit of a stomach. <laughs> right, anyone up there? Oh, there was one. Yeah, you know what? I'll let my guys wait here, and I'll actually climb up over there. Oh, wait. Uh, I can't climb over there. Because the only way to get over there, I think, is uh, over the bridge. Mm, yeah. Right, so it's kind of annoying that we have our back exposed to a monolith guy that knows where we are. But I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna take my uh, morph in here. And we're just gonna take some coffee. Oh! That settled it, I think. Right, so. Uh, there will be a lot of guys here. There's one. Oh! Okay, I think we're safe. Oh, there's one more there. I just spotted him. Okay, let's get to looting. Right, so uh, now the most annoying thing will be uh, getting in here and uh, getting past our, our myriad of dudes. I I'm gonna keep them on ignore combat. Gonna reload, uh, we're reloaded. Then we go. Okay, we're in. I'm telling my guys to stand still. And uh, we're gonna move on on our own. There's two mission critical NPCs there, so I really don't wanna lose them. There's 
one more in there. Just, just gonna do a little bit of meeting first. So there's definitely a poltergeist somewhere in here. Okay, everyone stay there. Let's see, who do I need to find? Rogue? No, bitch. There he is. Okay. Yeah, he, he actually tells us um, we could uh, make a wish if we wanted to. And of course, we're duty, so uh, we would never use that abomination. Um, not this, this. Right, so uh, all that's left now is to go back to Rostock and report to uh, the general. And uh, we're gonna go this way. Okay, so from here, we're just gonna take a nice stroll through, through the zone to the south, all the way down to Rostock. Ah, there's a stash there. Let's let's get it just because it's right here. How often do you get to to grab a stash from the actual power plant? Had a pretty good monolith rifle as well. Okay, so we'll just go down our normal path. I'll even let my guys fight it out. Wow, I'm still amazed generator worked out so well. Usually I never get out of there without uh, a couple of deaths. Like either mines, other times I've had uh, Sin spawn in with rocket launchers. Um, oh, 9 by 39, even more 9 by 39. Oh, take it. Yeah, sin with rocket launchers. Uh, other times I just uh, had one guy run towards me while just completely murdering me with an Ash-12.
Oh, dogs. Yes, aren't the duty guys? I don't remember having this many duty guys with me last time I was here. Maybe they all died on the way to uh, Sin Base. <laughs> like I, I actually don't think anyone died this time. Uh, just boars. Can I? Oh, nice. There's something very, very satisfying about using a very late game weapon against early game mutants. Okay, so let's do a little um, rifle scouting. You know our favorite place, the little, uh, uh, the little dock or moor or whatever you call it. That's usually uh, full of uh, either UNISG or Sin. I don't even know why, but uh, I'm gonna go take a look. At this point, we don't really need anything they they have there, but uh, eh. I just like to clear it every time. Doesn't look like there's anything here. But I have been wrong before. Oh, there he is! Um... Guys? I'd hate to break it to you, but your faction's dead. I think you could call it a day and go home. I'm not gonna say no to um, uh, meds, grenades, and. Uh, good ammo so that's good right and um, I also check the upper part you know what no let's let's not take any more unnecessary risks at this time it's uh Three in the afternoon in game. I'll uh, grab another pseudo dog chops and uh, I don't actually think we need to visit the Skadovsk. I mean we could buy some ammo, we could sell some ammo but we're way underweight anyway, so let's just keep moving. I'll switch. Actually, let's let's keep this. Oh. I heard a growl that way. I'm very curious what it was. Oh! Okay. We uh, still need to be careful around Chimeras. 
because uh, yeah, two shots from those even with the exoskeleton and we're dead. So still gotta do the chimera dance. Those and also anomalies. I mean, yeah, we can take one shot from an anomaly and still live. But uh, not from all of them. For example, I, I remember having one funny death um, in the... Uh, I think it's the Olympic anomaly to the north of Pipiat. Um... Which, uh, I, I'm not sure how you're supposed to do uh, the... Yeah, I'm lagging a little bit. I'm not sure how you're supposed to do the um, artifact missions without getting hurt there. Because I swear that that anomaly just... I could never find a way through it without without getting damaged. And when it damages you, it does damage you. It also slows you down, so... Um, even even with exosuits, I, I died multiple times there. On the bright side, we're not doing that, this, this one. Oh! Um, guys? The hell are you still fighting? Are there more dogs running around here? Oh, jumper. A lot of jumpers. I have no idea what they're shooting, but let's ignore combat and uh, keep moving. There's actually no reason for us to stay here. Actually, you know what? Keep firing. <laughs> we'll get to the other side soon enough. Okay, we're just gonna keep uh, moving south. And now that I think about it, I should probably do a... Um, Ooh, crap! That was nuts. Oh, this is the five four five RD. He brought me three, three EXO recipes. I mean. Of course I'll take them. It's basically free money right now.
Yeah, none of my guys are gonna wanna use that. Um, and there was one more over here. Oh, uh, it was one of our guys actually. It's right. Uh, I, I'm sure uh, duty will consider it an acceptable loss. Oh! Um... What do you call them? Lurkers? in that direction somewhere. Быть на готове. Так, собрались. Okay, and uh beat them or fighting them. Well, uh maybe I'll get a freedom armor. Shooting what? Right, that one. Another one went down here. the whole freedom base uh aggro here oh whoa whoa whoa, whoa. that's just mean are we done it, we definitely lost some more guys i just don't know who or where wait na gotowie didn't I'm not even sure but our our main companions are still here so that's what's important um this guy's freedom he actually had some cool stuff on him you know what I should take the um, I should take the uh kerosene as well we, we might want to cook something up right Ew, a Ruger. Hey, come on, any of you have an armor for me? Oh, actually, um... Uh, yeah, we barely lost charges. You know what, that's, that's good enough. I'll, I'll fix that up. Sure, I'll take it. Okay. I I really wanted the armor because um, I'm we're gonna have to deal with the oh um, a skin. We're gonna have to deal with the freedom base a lot um, when dealing with the the uh, military special forces. And, uh, I don't want to come in here and murder freedom every single time. 
I think I do Madrid's hear some robot. footsteps. I'll tell my guys to wait. Let's see, who do we have here this time? Unisig or Sim? Or no one? One sinner. Right. It's something, I guess. Ibuprofen, take a Vinca for the torso. Holy crap, we have a lot of these. I, I could actually just go and sell some meds and get rich with all the stuff I have on me. Right, let's swap back to the standard um, ammo. Just in case there's some mutants, we don't really want to waste AP. And we can drink another coffee. Just to keep us awake. Right, there's no one there. Uh, I'm gonna check if there's bandits there, but uh, even if there are, I'm probably not gonna bother engaging. Oh, there are a lot of meds there, but still. I don't think it's worth, worth the hassle right now. Okay, and this base should be friendly. Oh, that's actually a dude here. Interesting, usually it's... Um, um, I don't know. I've seen Unisig, I've seen Clear Sky, I've, I've seen Loners. Very rarely have I seen Beauty here. Even military. Okay, um, do I actually have to go north? Yeah, it's probably the safest route. And have one more pseudo dog chop on the way. Oh! It wasn't loaded. Okay, luckily, the base is right down here, so we can hide in there. Nice and safe. Right, so, as always, I'll see you after the emission. Okay, emission just finished. I have no idea where my other duty guys hid. I think there's a... Um, a little uh, shack over there, but they did manage to survive, so that's good. And we're just gonna keep heading south.
Oh. I, I was uh, so enthralled by the sky after the emission that I completely forgot to watch out for anomalies. Yeah, I'm gonna tell my guys to wait here. I don't want to lose them to a random sinner, and there are some over there. Yep. I think I saw another one just... Yep. There we go. Of ammo? Wow. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Okay, where's the oh grenade? Just gotta wait a bit for the light to come back. Okay, I don't think we're done. Ooh, wow. Let's, let's just finish this fight before we admire the sunset. We done? I think we're done. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a good reward for uh, for after finishing the whole Limans Hospital. And excuse me, sir. I'm trying to enjoy the sunlight here. Would you please just die? Where was I? Oh yeah. Ah, uh, a good reward for finishing generators like this. Just amazing. After an emission. Mm. Okay, intermission over. Let's uh, see what we can loot off of these guys. It's just basic sinners. We already called most of their numbers, so... Oh! Actually, I'll take that kerosene. Right, um, and uh, 
It's getting a bit late and it's getting harder to see. Which kind of bothers me, so I'll just... Uh, Right, you'll, you'll have to bear with the blue vision, because... I'd rather uh, not risk uh, not seeing some random sinner with a fucking PKM. Uh, okay. Although, this way I risk not seeing an anomaly in front of me. Right, towers over there. Didn't meet any angry mutants just yet. Okay, giving the monolith a wake up, wake up call here. Um. Where the hell? We actually lost one of our guys, just like that. Whatever. Uh, yeah, he wasn't one of the important ones. We'll take back one survivor. Okay, Ash-12. Um, not even gonna bother with it. I tried fixing another one and uh, my companions just didn't want to use it. Um, oh, Sinner Man. Where the hell did this guy come from? Okay. Could be easy from here. I didn't jinx it. Oh! get home just in time to um, take a nap. <laughs> okay. Oh, home stretch. Almost there. That's a friendly. Try to avoid the mercs as much as possible. We don't want any extra fights right now. Just want to get home safe. I did saw, see a stalker over there. Not sure what faction. If he's friendly, we'll see him on the radar. Okay, he's definitely not friendly. Bandit.
not one, but two bandits in Exos. That's an interesting development. There's another one behind the hill, but I'm I'm not gonna fight him anymore. Even though he's throwing grenades, which is kind of annoying. We're just gonna run back to Rostock. That's a friendly. How many people are shooting at a single dog? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna head straight to the general. We're gonna turn in this mission. Uh, and then we're gonna drop everything off and uh, I think we will end this episode uh, here. We are... Right, crisis averted. Okay. Did I maybe miss? A little bit of a... Uh... I'm pretty sure Psoglob should have should have spawned in by now. Or maybe I have to wait a little bit. Um... <laughs> Let's just drop off our stuff. Um... That's pretty cool. Gonna drop this and uh, drop this here. Maybe some one of my guys will want it. Drop all the ammo. We're gonna sell a lot of it. Um, actually, I kind of need the grenades. Just not right now. Um, not these. Okay. Drop that. Any other things I don't need? It's gonna be disassembled. Right. Uh, over here, come on. Sit. Okay, uh, meats and uh, food. And drop whatever we have in excess. Including mutant parts and the kerosene. Right. Artifacts. I don't think we have anything related to artifacts. We no longer gather upgrades, so that's all good. That's for repairs. All right. All the random repair stuff we don't need anymore, we can drop.
Okay, ammo parts, the other parts that need to be dropped. Okay, I think that's it. All the rest um, will just sell off. Huh. So let's talk to our guy here. And we don't need these. We also don't need all of these. 50k just like that. Nice. We're also going to sell a lot of the ammo we picked up, but uh, we'll do that uh, a bit later. Or between episodes, basically. Might even sell faction patches, because I don't really need them anymore. And there's like 18k right here, just sin. Patches and another 18 for monolith. Alright, what else do we need to do? Uh, fix the armors. One. And I think I can use this for the other. Good enough. Any encoded? No. We're gonna have to turn in the data pads a bit later. For now, let's take a nap until 7 in the morning. Um, yeah, I, I think all that's left now is to wait until we get contacted by, um, the secret service thing. Uh, I'm not sure why, uh, the sin guidance spawn that we could, uh, actually make join i it may be that i haven't finished hip's quest and that could be stopping him from from showing up but i'm basically just not gonna bother with it and uh it's good enough uh, honestly i don't really need uh any more pack mules so we are good Okay, with that said, we'll finish the episode here. So, a quick little recap. Um, we started up right after we finished uh, Limansk last episode. We went through the hospital, uh, met Chernobog, who mind-controlled us and escaped. We chased him down through the nuclear power plant, well, through the courtyard. All the way to generators we actually finished his base in generators uh it was probably the best one i've ever had um, we were not even close to dying which was amazing we didn't even lose anyone then we had to he once again mind tricked us so we had to chase him down all the way into the monolith control center in the nuclear power plant now where we killed him off and then we made a beeline straight back to Rostock, reported to General, and we actually finished the Sin story storyline. Uh, we got Folk Hero, and uh, where is it? Uh, I don't remember this one. Anyway... Renegades Absolver. Yeah, this is the achievement for finishing the Sin mission. Uh, and uh, yeah, we we are really close to, to being completely done with Stalker. I'm actually amazed we made it this far. We're first place in the statistic. Most of, most of the rest are Monolith. And Fyodor, funny enough. <laughs> but yeah. So, uh, next uh, episode, we're gonna take a nap for two or three days until the military contacts us, at which point we will have to go back, um, I think the next mission will have to go back to Zaton, um, and we'll have to find out the lost signal in the Iron Forest anomaly. 
uh, which will lead us to this base here where we will talk with the uh, uh, special forces uh, Ukrainian military guy and we will start murdering Unisig. First of all, we're probably, if I remember right, we're gonna have to take back the ranger station and then we're gonna have to hold it. There will be a, a big wave of UNISG uh, attacking us. After which uh, he will meet us down at the Freedom Station in Yanov Station. Uh, we will have to deal with another set of guys uh, somewhere around here. And uh, after that, I honestly don't remember. It's been a little while since I since I went through this. But uh, after dealing with all of these, we will have to go to outskirts and um, deal with Strelok. Uh, either we get him to be friendly with the military, so we can... Okay, there's, there's actually the radio transmission. So... Uh, I think I can just uh, straight up talk to him right now. Can we? Mm. Oh, interesting. I never saw that task before. Um, let's actually tell our guys to wait and um, let's see what the general has to say. That's so weird hearing hearing uh, um, women in the drone. All right, so we can ask him about the mysterious radio transmissions. Um, and we're uh, ready to go. Still no news about Psolav, so I'm guessing we need to finish him first, probably. But it's alright, he, he would have been just another uh, meat shield. Or maybe I had to talk to the bartender? I'll give it a little try. I don't think so, though. Nope. But we can sell him the PDAs. There we go. And buy some water. Should be enough. Okay, so we did get the first part of our mission. And uh, between episodes, I will uh, probably fix up the freedom, um, the freedom suit, and uh, I will start moving towards the north. I don't think it's worth uh, recording the all the movement all the way back into Zaton. You've seen it a hundred times. If something interesting happens, of course, I will drop it in the video. But if not, um, we'll see you next time in Zaton. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, have a great day.